Hey guys, it's Darren. So I wanted to take a look today at a way that you can use SketchUp and Layout together. This is not going to be, this is separate from the Let's Talk Layout videos we're doing right now, where we're going into each piece of layout and how to use it. This is actually a way to leverage uh, SketchUp and Layout to generate quick output. So I'm not talking about the way we normally use layout where we create scenes and show the scenes. Uh, well, you'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and hop in and see how to make quick layout documents from SketchUp. All right, so we're gonna work with this model of a revolving center. So the first thing I'll point out is this, this is made up of uh, four or five different components. These components are tagged. So I do have two tags over here. I have a shell, which consists of this front piece, this middle piece in the back end. So if I turn the shell off, you'll see I have a couple more pieces on the inside. These are on the center layer. So I uh, just wanted to point out that we're looking at a model here with a bunch of pieces. Well, a bunch, five pieces, a handful of pieces, some pieces, a couple, a few. Anyhow, uh, if I wanted to take this into layout right now, what I would traditionally do is I would go save it. I would probably make some scenes of the different views I want to have of this model. So if I did have a view where all I wanted to see was the shell, I could come over here, uh, turn the center off, and then save that as a scene. If I only wanted like just one piece visible, I could come take these two pieces and hide them and save that as a scene, that sort of thing. But I want to look at a way to generate output using layout, a little bit of a shortcut. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to select this piece. I'm going to say that I want to get some output out of layout that involves only this one piece. So pretty simple here. I'm going to take it and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to File, excuse me, go to Edit and Copy. So all I did was place this chunk of the SketchUp file onto the clipboard. Now I'm going to hop over into Layout. In Layout, I have just an empty document. There's nothing special here. Just start a brand new document with an empty template. And I'm going to come right up here to Edit and going to hit Paste. And as you might expect, I get the thing I copied. So that's, I mean, really when it comes down to it, that's it, video over. But I do want to dive in a little bit to what that just did because this did not create a standard layout document. This created something that's different from our normal use of layout. And I want to make sure you guys understand what it is because it's very useful, but you do have to understand what exactly it created here. So first thing it did is it did, it did just create, this is just a, a model window. Um, I can look over here on the right and it does have some information. Uh, it's always going to say last save SketchUp view because it doesn't actually have any scenes in it. Uh, the big part of this, so it's pretty easy in SketchUp to go to file export and export 2D drawing. What this lets you do is I can come in here and obviously this is what I would have gotten out if I hit export right from SketchUp. By copying the pieces I want to print and pasting them into layout, one of the big things I can do is right here with this type, I can change to vector, which is going to give me my nice clean line. Look how much nicer that looks. Ooh. Um, so that's, that's one of the big advantages. When I go print this out now, it's going to look very nice. The other thing, of, of course, is I have this uh, line widths. I can come in here and I can make my lines heavier or lighter, depending on how, uh, you know, how big or small the drawing is. So I can actually control that also. So that's why I would want to go through this process. But what I get here is not necessarily what you're expecting. So I did not actually import an entire SketchUp file to do this. What I did was I created a temporary SketchUp file to export. I didn't do that. That's what pasting did automatically. So one of the things over here, if I look at tags, remember my original tag had an un, my original tags in SketchUp consisted of untagged shell and center. See how center is not here? Because I didn't grab anything off of the center tag, I didn't get that tag coming over here. So this stuff, this is this piece is still on the shell uh, tag, so I can still turn it on and off, but only the tags that I actually grab pieces of come over. The other thing is you look at, see how it looks different? It didn't pull over my style because, again, I didn't save this as a SketchUp file. So this is not actually importing a whole SketchUp file. It's just showing me a default 
uh, style. So I could come in here and grab work from my normal defaults. What I don't have is the styles that were saved into the model. So now the biggest giveaway here, the biggest piece is if I select this and I was to actually look at the property. So let's go up here. Let's go to document setup under file. And right here, I'm going to deselect so you can see a little easier. Look at this file name. Blah, 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 blah long layout, layout, system ref, blah, 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 clipboard. This SKP file is basically just a clipboard file that's plopped on the drawing. So I'm never going to go update this. I'm never going to change it because this is a temporary file saved somewhere in the bowels of my operating system in the layout, something or other somewhere. That's all this is. So I'm not going to use this and update it if I change the model later. This is really intended solely to dump that drawing out to a piece of paper and then kind of never look back again. So why is this useful? Like I said, the first thing of course is this gives me the ability to get a nice, crisp, clean layout drawing. Uh, I can do my hybrid so I get my smooth uh, radiance along with the uh, lines, all of that, so much nicer than what I would get out of just straight layout, or just straight SketchUp. And this all comes without having to go through and save and bring my files over. But again, the downside is this really isn't a working file, it's sort of something you would dump out temporarily. The cool part is I can grab as many pieces as I want, paste as many pieces in, and they'll show up the same way. So if I went back there and I grabbed, here, let's, let's, do, let's do one more, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna hop back over into SketchUp. And let's say I grabbed this center piece and this piece, control C or edit, copy, go back into layout, edit, paste, and look at that. My two pieces came along there. So I actually got two chunks. So it's not just one piece, it's not just one thing, it's actually whatever you have highlighted when you hit copy will get picked up. So here I actually have my two, my two tags came along too because I had one piece on each one. But this really opens up to getting temporarily, temporary output. Now obviously the big thing that breaks here again is I don't have a link between my actual SketchUp file and this layout file. So if I was to go back and make a change to the length of the, the center or something like that, I wouldn't have the option to come update it because I'm working off of a clipboard piece here. So just a quick little thing that you can do, but I really, it's, it's neat, but I just wanted to make sure you understood the, it's not drawbacks, it's just the way it works. It's a little bit different from using layout the way we normally use layout, but it's a great way to get output to just quick, I would want to say quick and dirty, but it's quick and very clean output from SketchUp through layout by copying and pasting. If you like that, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create a handful of videos a week around here and you'll be notified if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment. Most of our content is derived from questions and comments in the comments down below. So we like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.